Hi guys, Rich here. Welcome to my series of Logic Pro X tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to normalize in Logic Pro X. So you can see here, in front of me, I've got a little bit of MIDI information for a piano part and, a, and just some low hits. Uh, and I'm going to bounce this in place. Now, the reason I'm going to do that is because I want to then normalize the file. Uh, okay, so what we have here is, oh, oh, so I'll change the name, let's call it Norman. Um, and I want to look, look at all this information. It's going to go to a new track, yes. Uh, source, I'm going to leave the, actually I'm going to yeah leave the source, because I'm going to play with that in a second. Um, bypass effects plugins, no. Uh, include audio tail, yes. Include audio tail in region, yes. Include volume panel automation, yes. Ah, normalize. Now. You can just do it on overload protection only so that it just stops any clipping or you can put it on to normalizing. So there we go. Just gonna bounce out that file, solo it. So let's hear the difference. All right, let's see the difference. Now I'm gonna bounce this out. In fact, that's gonna bug me otherwise, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just going to add a little sustain to that start note, otherwise it's going to sound a bit pants. There we go. Okay, so let's bounce this in place again. And we're going to call this Pete. Um, we're going to leave normalization off. There we go. So you can see what, what it does when you normalize it, is it, it brings the volume, it normalizes the volume of the entire file, uh, which it has, its, uh, has its uses. So here we go. Let's have a listen. Now, say you started with just an audio file, our, our audio file, Pete. Uh, you hadn't bounced it in place. Uh, how do you normalize in that case? You open up the audio edit, edit window, the file. So, shortcut W. Um, and we go into functions, normalize. And it normalizes the file. So, now as you can see, these look exactly the same. Because this one was normalized, Norman was normalized uh, by bouncing it through when we bounce it in place and Pete was normalized when we edited the audio file two ways to normalize uh, you can of course if you wanted to select all uh, bounce here we go normalize the whole track when you bounce uh, I wouldn't recommend that personally but um, it's up to you there we go Three ways to normalize. Normalize through bounce in place, normalize through the audio editing window, normalizing when you bounce your tracks. Okay, guys, go ahead and practice your normalizing. Um, and don't forget to like this video and click subscribe. Thank you.